What's going on? Look at it. Look at today. What a day. About 81 degrees. Not too bad out here. Going for a little walkie walk before the Sixers game in an hour. Just on here. Doing a little bit of walking and talking, y'all. Don't really have anything to rant about. You know? <clears throat> it's a little warm compared to what it's been. It's 80 degrees, but it's humid. Here on the, in the Mid-Atlantic. Got my old, uh, one of my old softball jerseys on. Chilling. But other than that, I ain't done that. I haven't done shit today. Monica and Lily are doing a book fair today. It's just me and the doggy dog. Peace and quiet while I watch the Sixers. It's either going to be a, a screaming at the TV type of day or it's going to be a chill, relaxing, watch the Sixers blow out the nets. try to tackle that tree but I ain't feel like it maybe tomorrow because I'll be doing some outside work six play today in about an hour watch that one I could try to start it really after the Sixers game but I don't know if I really feel like doing it I really didn't feel like doing a walk today. But I had to motivate myself to get out there. I might not do as long a walk as I normally do, but a walk nonetheless. Might, might do this walk 15, 20 minutes and then do, then do get on the exercise bike in the house afterwards we'll see who knows chat today there's plenty of body plenty of body here nothing exciting going on in my world Phillies won last night guess we can chat about that nine eleven eight 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 to three, something like that. One of them. Let's make it. Let's make it two wins in a row. Doubt that will happen. Big good put you last night for once. Didn't really get a lot of hits for runners. I think we were four for, or yeah, four for something. Eighteen or something. But we managed still won. Could have had a lot more runs. I mean, this team is averaging 11, 12 hits a game. It's it's a, it's a it's a miracle that they're five and nine. It doesn't make any sense to me. You got the dog walker coming up here on my right, y'all. She's gonna want me to stop. Pet her dog. So I'm gonna do that real quick. She probably don't want to be on live, and I can't pause it. See me. Who knows? I'm gonna tell. You want me to pet her. So, let's go do a little walk. Shoot the shit. Anybody want to talk about anything? Hit me up. We'll talk about it. I'm here for it. But anyway, look at the day. 
Such a fucking nice day outside. Look at that dog. Such a nice day. Not too bad. So, do this walk. I got something on the bottom of my shoe. So, do this walk for the Sixers game. Hopefully, enjoy that. We'll see. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, six uh, the flyer seasons over. Hallelujah. Got the drive coming up in twelve days. Yo, Tony, thanks for the bits, yo. It's hard, kind of hard to see. It's why I'm covering my hand. The sun. Thanks for the biddies. Appreciate you. What you up to today? I'm just doing a little walk before the Sixers game. It's kind of hot. And, it's not hot. It's real, the temperature's not hot. It's, it's 80 degrees out, but it feels more like 85 to 88. It's fucking humidity. It's fucking hate the humidity here. Game room's already up to about 85. It's, it's warmer, it feels like, in the game room than it is outside. Fucking crazy. But I'll be on later if you're trying to play. I'm not sure what time. Anytime after a Sixers game, I'll probably hop on. What's up, boss? How you doing, brother? Just doing a little walk out here on this glorious day. Look at that. Just doing a little walk. I'm going to play some DVD later after the Sixers game. They play them about 50 minutes, one o'clock. Got my old softball jersey on one of them. <clears throat> Should fucking burn it. Yo, what's up? Cooking mom, how's everybody doing? DVD meetup, sounds good to me, yeah. All Sixers, or Celtics play at three, oh, pff, ain't gonna have no trouble beating them. Y'all play the Hawks. Get out of here. We'll see you in the second round, though. Book it. I was hoping y'all play the goddamn Heat, but they had to go and fuck it up. I'm watching the movie Cocaine Pair. <laughs> it's literally mine. Blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm sure it is blowing your mind. <laughs> How is it? I heard it was funny. Stupid funny, anyway. Ads, bro. Ads. Yeah. Gotta love them ads by Twitch. I have put here. Here's what I have. I was ranting on this on, on Twitter yesterday. I don't have pre rolls turned on. So what pre roll is is uh, when as soon as you come into the stream, you get pre rolls. You get ads, right? But if you have pre roll turned on, you have to set your ads, and you have to have a certain amount of um, ads per hour, right? If you don't set that per hour, Twitch can do whatever they want. Get many ads as they want, anytime they want. But if the streamer sets it up, for example, you can set, I think you have to have a mandatory three minutes, I think three minutes an hour, I think. <clears throat> so if you do a minute and a half and a minute and a half, just do it 15 minutes, you, you, you're good. You don't want to do it ads once a, once an hour because if you do it once an hour, then you're going to um, get three straight minutes. Nobody that doesn't subscribe wants to watch ads for three straight minutes. I know I don't. Um, I was even talking about I went into two different streamers yesterday. As soon as I popped on, ads. Got like six or seven of them. I was like, mm, peace, I'm out. Um... I don't like pre-rolls. I think they're dumb because streamers can set how many they want now per hour. I mean, you have to have a minimum, but you have more if you want. But that's why I know certain streamers out here are setting them, even though 
They'll say live, oh, I got no control over it. Yes, you do. You're lying. Because <clears throat> I'll go into some streams. They don't have pre-roll set. Good thing, in my opinion. But then 15 minutes in, I'll get 8, eight to 12 ads. Boom. So don't tell me they don't have a set. So if they're telling you they don't have a set, that means Twitch is doing it. And you can control your ads. The ads will even come up while you're live and say, hey, they'll give you a warning. Hey, ads are coming up in 30 seconds. It's that simple. But yeah, this ads thing with Twitch is, is bullshit. This is the funny part. Not last month, but the Monday 4. I was just, I'm just doing these 15, 20 minutes, maybe half hour IRLs while I walk or my, or my car rant on the way to work. I made $7.12 last month on just ads. Now, how the fuck? I don't get it. It is what it is. I don't know if people go back and watch <clears throat> the VODs or not, but I think that's hilarious. I am dead set against all these, all these ads on Twitch. <clears throat> but streamers, don't let them fool you. They can set them. If they tell you otherwise, they lying to your face. <clears throat> because you can have pre-rolls. And pre if you have pre-roll set, that means as soon as somebody comes in your stream, you get ads. And if you don't set the other one, that means Twitch can do run the ads anytime they want. When they want. However many they want. But you, the streamer has control over the ads. I think they got to play. Like I said, I think they got to do three minutes, an, at least three minutes an hour. Which if you break that up in the 15 minutes, not a bad thing. Now, the fucked up part is, in my opinion, is they can all be 15 second ads. Then you get a whole bunch of them. Or, see, they can be 15, 30, or 60 second ads. It's ridiculous. Uh oh. There's the, there's the one that got, you got all kinds of dogs barking today at me. <clears throat> but yeah, that's a rant on the Twitch ads. That's <clears throat> all I got. But well, I just want to re reiterate. Don't let the streamer tell you they don't have control over the ads because they have full control. Because all they got to do is go into there on their creator dashboard. Either turn, turn pre-rolls off. Set up their ads. Or you leave pre-rolls on. They get them at the beginning and Twitch controls your ads. And you don't know when you're going to get them. So, it's that simple. It's a pain in the ass because ads are a joke anyway. Because you shouldn't be hindering the people in your chat to see ads and, and especially 12 ads at a time man i was watching some of my stream on tuesday don't have pre-rolls turned on good thing i get in there i get 8 to 12 ads 15 20 minutes in it, it, and i'm peace out boy scout i'm not dealing with that and that's sounds like to me they're getting all their ads in at one time which is fine if that's the way you want to do it it's up to you but just remember the backlash when your lurkers or your people that don't subscribe to you just leave and you see it more and more you, you see streamers complaining about it all the time and rightfully so they're losing viewership because of these ads. But like I said, the streamer can control them as much as they can. They can set it up. As long as I think it's three minutes an hour. You gotta have at least three minutes an hour. You can set that up. If you wanna do it 15 minutes intervals, do it one time for 30 minutes. Do it one time for 45 minutes. But just remember, if you're having three minute ads, straight through yeah, that's a lot of time a lot of time for this the viewer to be like i know it would be me the only time i wouldn't mind it is if i'm just got the streamer playing in the background i'm not really watching i'm just listening because i'm doing other shit wouldn't be too big of a deal but twitch has got you by the balls got the streamers by the balls
So, you have to do what you have to do. But they also have to, the streamer has to remember that the viewer don't have to watch that shit. Not everybody can afford $5 a month every time. And if they do, they might they might support other streamers who want us to support. Thank you. Just leaving and working. Thank you for what, Tony? Thank you for what, Tony? <clears throat> and then ones that I support. And there's a reason why I support them. They're good people. And I don't mind. I stopped supporting a lot. So, uh, so far, sorry, I forgot to tag balls because he thought that he was hopping. Hoping I was having. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I'm just ranting on the Twitch for the ads. It's crazy. But hopefully, the Sixers ball out today. Yeah, they got they got you guys by the balls, Tony. It kind of sucks. There's nothing you can do about it. But what I don't like <clears throat> is when the streamer says, oh, "Oh, it's not me. It's Twitch. No, it's you. You can set them up a certain way." So I don't know how much you heard, but I think it's a three minutes per hour. You have to have ads, right? So if you have pre-roll turned on. You get the, the viewer gets ads if they're not a subscriber. Um, they get ads as soon as they jump on the stream, which I personally don't think is good because some people want to check out your stream and as soon as they go in there, they don't get fucking ads and have to wait however many Twitch puts on there. Because if you have pre roll turned on, it, 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 Twitch could have eight, nine, ten ads. Who knows? But anyway, so you turn pre roll off, then you set up. How many ads per hour that you want? Like I think, like I said, I think it's three minutes an hour. So do every 15 minutes, do, do a minute and a half, right? Or you do 30 minutes at the 30 minute mark. But here's the thing. You can set them. Like if, if you don't, if you got all that turned off, Twitch just owns you. They'll just play them willy nilly. But if you have them set up, it will even give you a warning and say, Hey, ads are about to start. And then if the streamer's nice, they'll be like, hey, sorry guys, gotta run the ad break. Because they have to, they're forcing streamers to run ad breaks. But the streamer, if they got it set the way they want it, it'll give them a warning when the ads are getting ready to start. Now, what I don't like is, is you can get 15, 30, or 60 second ads. How about if you get fucking six? Six ads, nine ads, or 15 seconds. That's fucking crazy, man. And But also, at the same time, I don't want to sit there and watch three minutes of ads either. So, if you do two, two ad breaks an hour at a minute and a half each, I don't think that's too, too bad. But, that's just me. I don't stream too much, except for on here. So, but I have pre-roll turned off. But I don't stream long enough to make any revenue. But I don't know if you were on here earlier, Tony. I, I, not this month. But last month. Not this past month. The month before. I made $7 in fucking ad revenue. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not, I don't even stream long enough. I do like 20 to 30 minute IRL streams. When I'm walking or on my way to work. I haven't streamed DVD in about 8 or 9 months. It's fucking, fucking crazy. Tell's a little warmer. My walk is a little slow today. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. My 22 minutes in, my walk. But I'm gonna do this walk. Watch some six airs. Hopefully, it's not a it's a stress-free game. We'll see. I think it's going to be a little closer than what people think. All 
Sixers fans over here saying sweep, sweep, sweep. Fuck, I can't remember last time we got a sweep. And nothing's easy for the Sixers or any Philly team. They always got to make it hard. Going to drive home, so hit me up later. Pulling for your Sixers. All right, man, have a safe drive home, Tony. I'll hit you up on the um, on the Twitters. Oh, getting back to the um, the ad thing. Here's fucked up too. If you're a mod or VIP, I don't think you should have have to subscribe to not get ads. I think that's ridiculous as well. But then I think if they do that, yeah, everybody would make everybody a VIP. Or a mod, but I think it's dumb. Anyway, they force all these streamers, force them to do ads, and not get any hardly any cut out of ads. Guess who's getting all the money from it? Twitch. Sorry, fucks. I said it. Sorry, fucks. Look, more dogs. God, it's a nice day out. Everybody got the goddamn dog out. But anyway, I think I get not too bad. Doggy dog and shit beforehand. Tomorrow's gonna be brutal here. It's supposed to be like 88 degrees and then humidity gonna feel like 95. And I got outside work to do. My ass might be up at 7 o'clock. Tony, I remember a couple weeks ago you were asking, maybe it was last week, you were asking uh, how early is early. Can you start cutting your, doing outside or cutting your grass? Fuck them. Sunrises are like six, right? 6.30, boom. Nah, I'll probably go out around seven or eight tomorrow though, cause I won't get that shit done by noon. Cause this is gonna be brutal. Brutal tomorrow. Walking in the sun right now is brutal. Look at it. It's fucking nice as fuck out though. Nice as hell. Blue skies, clouds. Now I'm walking in the sun. I can't see if anybody's chatting. <sighs> Stream elements. I gotta fix that shit too. I'm so lazy about doing that. I should do it while we're playing DVD though. Go in there and change some elements. Put my YouTube. Yeah, go follow me on YouTube, y'all. I got some YouTube videos up. I'm gonna start posting. I gotta post one later today. Be a little controversial to some but you know people that know me you get what you get I'm straightforward you got questions I'll answer them you might not like the answer that you get but it's an answer nonetheless I'm not out here one of these ones that I'm interested to see these last few days I've posted stuff on Twitter and I've got some DMs which I don't acknowledge the DMs because they're just they're just people that want to egg you on and they want to stir up shit right but this is how I know it's a burner account for one one they didn't comment on the post they saw the post but they send me a DM right they don't put their shit out there. So that right there tells me it's a burner account. Number two, did I know it's a burner account? Oh, I just got my account on December 2022. I've tweeted 25 times and got five friends. That's definitely a burner account. This guy don't need a burner account. You got a question? Or well, if I don't like some or if I feel like commenting, I just comment. Wow, the burner shit just trips me out when people use burner accounts. It's hilarious to me. 
They gotta use burner accounts because they hide behind the keyboard. And some of these people that have burner accounts are political one way, but on their burner account, they're a totally different person. They're fake. I hate the fake people. People just be real. Just be yourself. That's my biggest pet peeve. People are fake out here. I've ranted on it before about the fake people. Some of these Twitch streamers are fake. They got to do an act. You don't have to do an act. If your stream is good enough and you're good enough to entertain your viewers, you don't have to be fake. You know how you can tell you're fake? They fake. They say do one thing on stream, say another thing on Twitter, the social medias, and then if you go into their Discord. Oh my God, it's like a 360. It was like, okay, who's the real you? The stream, the social media, the Discord. Which one is you? Uh, this is Sun. You probably can't even see me, guys. But oh well. I've always been that way. The fake people, I'm out. That's why I stopped supporting some of these streamers, man. They're so fuck fake as fuck. Look, they'll be the first one, the bitch about your Stephen A. Smiths, your Colin Coward, your Shannon Sharps and Skip Baylesses of the world. They the first one, they'll talk about that shit on their stream, right? But they do the same thing. They're doing the same thing on Twitch. They want the hot take, folks. They want the hot take. And then, I got this one streamer I used to follow he gives his opinion, but look, you give your opinion in his chat, his chat will ban you and think it's funny because you're giving an opinion, and then he just laughs it off. That's why I no longer give him my $5.99 or $4.99 a month because I don't go into people's streams and the streamer is giving their sports opinion, but then I give my opinion and I get banned by his chat or timed out. Ridiculous. Insecurity. Because he's one of those ones that thinks it's his opinion is the only opinion. And then he'll say, he'll come back and say, Oh, no. No. We can have, con we can have conversation. We can have conversation. But his chat will ban you or time you out. I don't play that role. That's how you lose viewers, and that's why certain streamers only get their community from wherever they are. They can't grow. They can't grow because they give their chat so much authority. And they think it's funny. But this guy, he ain't funny. I don't, I don't go in people's streams and they time you out for having an opinion. And it's not like I was being a jackass. I don't go in there at people's streams and be a jackass and start shit. But you could tell right away when you trigger somebody because your opinion doesn't match as theirs. It's the same thing. They do the same thing as Skip Bayless and Stephen Aceman and all them other motherfuckers. So it's funny. It's funny to me. It's hilarious. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to get off of here. Got another eight, nine minutes to go. Get a mile. Well, that's how I'm getting ready to hit the two mile marker now. Anyway, guys, you take care. Love one another. And be nice, man. Just be nice. You can have a conversation with people you disagree with, but you don't have to name call and yell and scream and talk, o talk over them. Or if they ask you a question, then you deflect. And then you ask them a question. The whole saying is you don't answer a question with a question. Yep, 100% correct. Anyway.